Hi guys and welcome to the Sick and Sound TV. My name is Dan. In this channel we take you into the EDM interviews, news, artists and label introduction and a lot of useful things about the dance world, just like this episode. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Today we are giving a little help for the upcoming producers, DJs. We're gonna provide you some major tips how you should and shouldn't send out a demo, promo emails to any labels or big artists. Let's do this. Sending out a demo to any kind of label, it's really easy nowadays, just few clicks. But due to the extremely huge amount of producers and tracks out there, some of the demo emails are acting like a mysterious wormhole. If you want to have a bigger chance to get noticed, please consider my following tips before you sending out anything. First, don't send out anything in the first two years. Listen to me, you will regret it later. It needs a lot of years to improve your producing skills, taste and your own sound. If you are sending out something too early, you might have a bad first impression from the ANR and you're gonna be labeled, this is a medical producer, I don't wanna hear more from him. No matter how far you got later or how quality will be your music few years later, you have only one shout with the ARs most of the time, one and only chance to get noticed. Don't screw up because you are impatient. Two. Be self-critic, know your skills and weaknesses. If you are constantly A and B in your music with top-notch reference tracks, you will hear the difference between your stuff and between a quality popular stuff. You should be honest with yourself, don't lie to yourself. When you need to learn something, just take your time and learn it. It's not a horse race, focus on your craft instead of rushing. Number 3. It is your music outdated, up to dated or predated. When you are making steps, it's important to not follow the trends instead of try to walk few steps further than the actual trends. It's important because the labels are working forward for even 6-7 months. What song is now trendy and viral, later it could be outdated. The best way to avoid your track goes outdated, it's not to copy the actual top lists and tracks and be unique and find your sound. If you are making timeless music it won't be a problem if it gets released one year later, it will be still interesting for the crowd. Number 4. Make sure that you gather some patience, you will need it. And don't scare off the rejections or anything like that. You just have to focus to your vision and to your dreams. Don't give it up too early, work hard and eventually it will pay off. 5. Next step is to find the right label which matches to the genre of your demo. You have to do your own homework, you should only write to those labels whose style is identical with yours. Forget the other ones. It's a major no when you send out something which is not in your genre. Number 6. You got the track and, and the targeted labels, but how should you reach the ANR? First way is the classical way, the offline method. You can meet with them by conferences, demo jobs or even live gigs if the ANR is an artist too. You can also ask a friend of yours who had releases on the particular label to push your music. Or you can start build own relationships during networking. But the classical way is writing an email to the demo address of the label. First of all, let's see some major don'ts, what you shouldn't do, no matter what happens, if you wanna get noticed. The first no, don't spam. No mass emails or no CCC or BCC. Your email is not personalized, just a template. You are writing a novel. You are reaching the ANR on his personal Facebook profile. You are not humble. You attach the MP3 file into the email instead of download link. Your link is public or on the private link you have a lot of plays already. And finally, bad timing such as sending mails on the weekends, holidays or you just just don't care what the time zone the ANR has. Let's see a typical short and simple example for a good demo email. Upload your song into your SoundCloud account, make it private, make it a personal link for each label. One link, one label. So then say hey, I hope you have a great day, just finished the new track, I think it may fit to XY Records profile. 
About me in bullet points, you can tell a little bit about your previous success, support, releases. If you don't have anything, ignore this section, no one will miss it. And finally, you can summarize the general info of your track, such artist, title, duration, genre, and does it contain any third party sample. Then finally, you can say thank you and your name with your contact info, and that's all. And of course, it's important to send it in the right time, it's all about luck and timing indeed. Demo sending is a bit gambling, so you shouldn't give it up if you have rejections, mostly you will have more rejections than anything, it's normal. Every big artist deals with the same problem in the beginning. Don't give it up, do it for fun, do it for the love of music, and not only because you want to get signed by spinning for example. From the moment when the music was sent out, let it go, don't stress about that they receive it or not, or that they checked it or not. Focus on your next ideas, maybe you can try later a follow-up email to increase your chances. And that's for all for today, hope these advices were good for you, and again it's important, don't give it up, do it for yourself, for the love of music. If you liked this episode, hit us a thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you in the next episode of the Sick and Sound TV. Bye bye!